Good morning. I am so glad to be with all of you today for what is a very, very special occasion this morning. From time to time, we have the opportunity to honor and celebrate faculty members who have distinguished themselves in their work and life at our school. Oftentimes, we bestow honors of our own, endowed faculty chairs honoring exceptional teaching and work on the faculty, as was the case one year ago at about this time with Mr. Latham, Mr. Benson, and Mrs. Wielden all receiving endowed chairs. On Prize Day every year, we recognize those who have completed 25 years of service at the school, as we did with Mr. Latham, Mrs. Saunders, and Mrs. Konovalchek this past year. And also on Prize Day, we award the George Frederick Vaught Prize to a younger teacher who's made special contributions to the school in one's first few years on the faculty, Ms. Sacco, this past spring. On this occasion, the honor comes from the Association of Boarding Schools, or TABS, as it is known. We are one of more than 225 TABS member schools. For all of our 97 years of existence, our school has been blessed to have teachers and coaches and dormitory parents and advisors and mentors of the highest order, an extraordinarily talented and dedicated faculty. This tradition continues today, and I'm quite confident that all of you will hold on to relationships you have forged with teachers and mentors here for the rest of your lives. It is through and with deeply committed faculty members that we realize our mission. Sometime last winter, Mrs. Waters reached out to let me know that she wanted to nominate a colleague of ours for a prestigious award given to just three boarding school professionals every year and was hoping I would contribute to the nomination. Of course I would contribute, was my reply, as this colleague is someone I have deep admiration for and I am far from alone in that sentiment. Mrs. Waters submitted the nomination and we waited and waited and waited some more. And then sometime in August, I received word that our colleague had been chosen to receive the award this year. Ahead of introducing Susan Baldridge, Executive Director of TABS, who is with us today to share some thoughts about both the award and our recipient, I do want to offer just a few thoughts of my own. I'm not sure what the actual percentage is of educators who work and live on boarding school campuses as opposed to our day school counterparts, but I am pretty sure the number is very low. There's a reason for that, of course, as the morning, noon, and evening roles our faculty play in the school's life and the lives of all of you as students does not always lend itself to realizing a balanced life. I have generally thought that if those of us in boarding schools achieve some degree of managed imbalance, we're doing pretty well. After all of these years, I still have friends who have no familiarity with boarding school and will say, wait, the kids live there like all the time? Well, this is far from a routine life. My answer to this question friends have posed over time has always been yes, they do live here like all the time and I wouldn't trade this life for any other. I believe the recipient of today's honor feels the same way. She has poured her life into the school from the first day she started working here all the way to this day. No breaks. She is and continues to be an exceptional teacher. She is a beloved and trusted advisor. She is a decorated and talented coach. She does not know how to give anything other than all of herself to the school each and every year. She leaves students she works with certain she cares about them in ways that also leave them feeling like they matter to her, to their school, and beyond. Yet it is her work in between the lines, at Brooks, outside of the classroom, off of the playing field, thriving in the life we live together morning, noon, and evening, where I think she has excelled the most. She personifies engagement, a core value of our school. 
and she has both given to and drawn from the school in ways that underline what an incredible match she and Brooks School have been. I've not worked with a more dedicated and committed boarding school person in all of my 34 years at Brooks, and I'm incredibly proud to count her as a colleague and friend. As I noted a moment ago, Susan Baldridge is the executive director of the Association of Boarding Schools. Dr. Baldridge spent over 25 years at Middlebury College in a range of teaching and administrative roles. She's consulted to schools and nonprofits along the way, and all of us in boarding school life now draw from her leadership, expertise, and belief in the power and value of a boarding school education. We're so pleased to have her on campus today to present this award, and I'd like to invite her to the podium to do just that. Dr. Baldridge. It is so lovely to be here with all of you on what uh, certainly for me and I hope for all of you is a really unequivocally happy occasion. Um, you heard who I am. TABS, the Association of Boarding Schools, our job among other things is to provide schools and the people who do the work of schools like Brooks um, opportunities to grow and develop in their own work, to provide insights where we can and to create a sense of community for them, not just within their schools, but across their schools. Um, I have the privilege of traveling here to be with you at Brooks today um, to honor, as you have heard, a very special member of the Brooks community. Uh, ahead of our annual conference in Boston in November, uh, where we will similarly share this, uh, this honor publicly with the rest of the TABS community. Each year, as you heard from Mr. Packard, the TABS Board of Trustees awards to just three people from across the thousands of residential life leaders in our boarding schools a special distinction, and it's called the Birch Ford Kaleidoscope Award for Excellence in Student and Residential Life. The award recognizes those three professionals who have exemplified commitment, creativity, and excellence throughout their career. The award is named in honor of the late Mary Birch Tracy Ford, who was known as Birch Ford, who served as the first full-time counselor at Groton School. She was the dean of students at Milton Academy and for 15 years then the head of school at Miss Porter School. So she had a long career in boarding schools. She passed away in 2019, but Tabs is delighted to honor her legacy with this award. Um, we present each recipient um, with a custom glass kaleidoscope uh, created by a British artisan whose name is Mark Tickle. That's what's in that box with the red bow that one of your peers is holding for me. Um, and um, as I said, we will honor the recipient at our conference as well in November. You may have already gotten to where I'm about to go, but I am thrilled to share that one of this year's three winners from across the entire TABS community is your very own Andrea Hines. is so lovely. Um, let me share just, um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> she, is, she is being surprised by some of the attendees at this morning's chapel. Um, I would love, Andrew, if you don't mind, to uh, read an excerpt from the nomination letter that we received, which I suspect will ring very true to you all, and I think we're probably going to embarrass Andrea a little bit, but bear with me. WWAD, what would Andrea do? I expect that question will increase in frequency once our beloved and much admired colleague, Andrea Hines, steps down from serving as the Associate Head for Student Affairs at Brooks School this June after 25 years in that office. And of course, she is still here at Brooks in a different role. 
Um, I cannot think of a higher compliment than trying to channel the unique persona of another person, as it signals the highest regard for their wisdom, perspective, problem solving, and ingenuity. Andrea has long been the bedrock of our Brooks School community and selflessly dedicated her time, energy, and insight to improving the student experience and supporting the efforts of her colleagues toward that ever important goal. She is both beloved by students and seen as someone who holds the line. She's earned that reputation over the years by being authentic, honest, empathic, and someone of high integrity. Above all, her enthusiasm and joy derived from working with teenagers has been infectious and we will miss her leadership in student affairs. I could go on, the letter was much longer, every bit of it um, was something that I think um, speaks to exactly why she is a wonderful recipient of this award and undoubtedly why she holds the role in this community that she does. So thank you, Andrea, to your, for your service to Brooks, to your students, to your colleagues, and for your leadership within the boarding school community. Um, I am grateful for the chance to be here among her friends and colleagues and students, and we look forward to honoring you in just a few weeks in Boston as well. So congratulations.